We're putting the large bottles in the earth bag wall this week. And we'll go ahead and finish up that wall too. So that'll be a fun job this week. All right, week. and get some wall stuff done. To get those large bottles in, we need a few more bags to build up inside of those little divot areas. The divot area. Here comes the bottle. Okay, and this do -do 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 -do. little thing I think I'll put on the bottom, huh? Yeah. Like okay. Alrighty. Getting started on the, what do you call it? Drywall tape. Drywall tape. On our paneling. <laughs> paneling. It does work though. It works really good. It keeps them from cracking like this. Because mm -hmm. so. my dad has actually already drywall mudded this and all of these seams cracked again. So we're going to try the tape, cover all those and then we'll get started on re-mudding everything. I'm gonna jump over and start working on getting this piece of drywall put back up on this wall. And then that way we can do the mud and tape all the way through here too and get that dry in so we can paint. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be so fun. professionals use because it's so accurate. Mm -hmm. See? Perfectly accurate. Impressive. Thank you. Oh, I guess I should have had a straight edge. I could have just cut on the side of the straight edge. Made my mm -hmm. life way easier. Who wants an easy life? All that fun is perfectly straight there. Mm -hmm. Nice. Like I said, professional. See? It's tough. That's what matters, right? Exactly. Now to see if it fits. Oh, it's gonna fit. First try, watch this. Perfect. Almost. That looks good for our outfit. Good, because that's how far you need to be for it to look good. <laughs> having some great success using the mortar to get the rocks and the bottles to kind of stick to the wall. Yeah, so we're gonna keep doing it that way. Oh, it doesn't distort you very much through the glass, Ma. <laughs> it doesn't? No. We wanna smooth that out nicely there because then when we go to mortar the outside of the wall, we can come right up to it and that'll actually be the finished look there. Does that look good, Bison? Yeah, I like it. Get it into the wall. Does that look about right? Yeah, I like it. All righty. I think we'll just let that set, huh? Yeah, I like that plan. It's snowing right now. I don't know if you can tell, because I mean, it's desert snow, but it is a snowing away right now. See the white everywhere? That's not sand. It's snow. We just finished our podcast and now I have to proceed to that door. It is so cold out here. Oh my goodness. Ooh, see that? See the snow collecting on the top of the little. <laughs> Hi. Are you staying warm? Do it. Go back into your little dog house where it's nice and warm. Cozy on up in there. I'm gonna go over. You better get warm. <laughs> You just gotta talk. What am I saying? <laughs> That's fine too. <laughs> Here I got the sheet drop on. So just tape these seams up. There is a bit of a gap from the paneling to the drywall, but nothing a little mud can't fix. Was this wall moved before? Is that why it's all like seam weird? Yeah. Good 
putting some of this corner flashing on. It didn't have any before, and we're not gonna put any more trim back up around the closet. I'm gonna get this screwed on, and Elle's been getting all the tape done. Are you gonna move into muddy now? Yeah, so on that wall, I like textured everything, but then Garen had the brilliant idea that we should probably hit the seams, let that dry, and then texture everything, because now I'm gonna have to retexture because you gotta do two coats on the taping. So I think I'm gonna just do quick seams. Hopefully it dries fast because you don't put a thick layer on, you know? The older Azalea you gets, the more mobile she gets. It's gotten more and more fun as we're working and stuff, and she's in there with us. She plays with her toys or tries to help us. Before, when she was smaller, she was fun, but she was slept a lot. <laughs> Ellie had the brilliant idea of trying the orbital sander out instead of hand sanding it, which would take a long time. We just chuck some 220 on there. It's on the lowest setting, right? Oh yeah, it's on the slowest setting too. See if it just takes all of our hard work off. Mm-hmm, just <laughs> right down to blue. That works pretty good, huh? Nice, it's fast. Yeah, it's really fast. Looks good. Sand the room, huh? We're gonna do this a little different. I got as cleat type things, and what I'm gonna do is over the bottles, this one and this one here, we're gonna mortar that on this way, and then the bags will go over and attach to those cleats. When we put these bags on, sometimes they kind of come over these bottles a little bit. And I don't want the bag to sag down over the bottle. We'll be able to see more through our little bottle window. Yeah, I like that. I agree. Do the same thing here, and then the bags just go right over the top. We definitely want to wet that. Oh. That. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. There we go. Does that look about right? Uh, now, like yeah, like a raw for us. Uh, here, you got, you got some of for a sec, close windows, heat it up in here. Quick paint? Yeah. Sweet. Secret color reveal, you're never gonna guess. Great. But if you will notice, there's a discount sticker on it. Okay, so it kind of the color chose us, not us choosing the color. Nice. Plus we love the color. And probably would have picked it anyway. That's a nice gray, it's, it's got like a green tint to it almost. Yeah, why is it so thin? I think it's about normal. It's close. It might be a little thin, but. Maybe there's a reason it was just kind of. <laughs> yeah, that's faulty paint right there. <laughs> that's cool. You're right, that is thin. That's what I'm gonna blame it on. Not my over eagerness. Alright. Oh, it's overflowing. Man, I'm right on our new floor, too. Okay. Start right here. I like that color. It does look nice. Ooh, it's gonna clean this room up so much. We miss a little spot air patch and then I'll come help cut in and stuff. Okay. That's good. I'm standing on the safety chair. 
Safety chair, you mean? Yeah. Is this right here? Yeah, it's a safety chair. So at least it has four feet on the chair, yes, four legs. And they wing out. They wing stand. out. Very solid. Yeah. Solid chair. So, Bryson, are you on the safety wall? I, I am. And you have two feet firmly planted I, on the wall. I, I do. Yes, indeed. Bree, are you standing on the Whoa, safety ground? I am. I am the safest place of all. Two feet right here, just on the ground. So I'm the I'm in the safest place of all. We're going over the bottles this round. That is a little crooky. The mortar. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. But that's okay. If I would have had my safety chair when I did it, I could have lined it up better. Yeah, your safety chair. But that's okay. We're gonna you go know, with it anyway. The thing is that these walls live and breathe on cookie. Cookie I, is like they, there's their bread and butter. So I think we're good. I have no idea if these are gonna jar. Uh, they're jar. Gonna jar. <laughs> <laughs> if they're gonna jar, you know, when this comes, thunk thunk. If that's gonna break, that does not look. I don't know. We'll be careful. We'll it be looks bracing. like it's going to oh, do yeah. that, but you know, we're gonna have the touch of luck feathers out in life. So we're gonna have our feathery touch on. Popped off. And you know, thinking about this, we should have put it on right now. Is when we should have put it on. <laughs> but if we wet it down, it'll it'll stick. Oh, yes. Beautiful. This looks good, but the second we put that trim around everything, it's gonna look amazing. Yeah, when you first paint like the walls, it's almost too much to put the trim on, huh? Yeah, and, and like all the hard edges, it, it doesn't look very finished here. Yeah. Are we gonna get away with one coat on this room? I think so. I'm gonna put it on really thick, so if we still have to put another coat, I'm gonna be a little upset. <laughs> It reminds me a lot of the office. Mm -hmm. I think it's a little darker than the office. It's like, it's like in between all the other two of the walls. Oh yeah, yeah. Because we, we didn't want to paint the whole room, so we just painted <laughs> two walls that were bad. We <laughs> call them accent walls. Mm -hmm. True designer right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you might. Maybe we'll have this finished before our child awakes. Maybe. Down to the wire for sure. Last little square. Nice. And we're done. Just don't look over there. Yeah. Ignore the racing stripe there. It's an accent stripe. Yeah, it's an accent stripe. <laughs> Oh, it looks a little bit like that edge. If this side only has one slope and the other side doesn't have another slope, then it's just a cliff. And, and nobody this... wants a cliff. No. Oh, I literally saw my fingers flash before my eyes. Ready? Yep. Wow. I don't think that moved like at all. No, I don't think so at all. I think it just like, this is where I live now. Yeah. So you have to be ever so careful camping this thing. Yeah, it no. didn't move at all actually. Looking back, I should have waited on the mortar until we were laying the bags. It would have made more sense. So if I was to do that again, you know, I would have done it that way. Yeah, but yeah. the good thing is with the mortar, because it's not completely dry, we can wet that down. It'll all stick together. Yeah, it'll be fine. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, this is a very bad idea. <laughs> I ideas, get it wet. Those well, ideas that don't always pan out. I hope it was worth it. I hope you're happy now. <laughs> it's been fun for all of us to work together. I mean, to focus on certain areas and everybody's kind of doing their thing. Thing, but it's a contribution that we're all making together. So that's that's been fun. And doing new things too, like, you know, this idea of the boards over the windows. I'm looking forward to seeing what that's gonna look like when we get the stucco up, but I think it's gonna help to show more of the bottle and, and be able to see through that better. So we might even try some of that idea of those boards when we go back over to the bottle shower wall as well, if it works out good. It's fun to try new things. It is. <laughs> Put the little covers on. 
<laughs> this is an azalea size screwdriver. <laughs> Safety first. No more baby fingers in the size of the socket, at least. Yeah, I mean, you just gotta worry about the... Mm-hmm. The walls are all finished now. We got all the texturing done. Drywall patched back up. It turned out really good, so yeah. fall goes to plan. We'll be moving on to the floor next week, and we're gonna be very close to finishing this pretty quick here. That's crazy, going yeah. fast. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Did you get the front oh, bit of the wall? Yeah, I got everything. Yeah. <gasps> oh, oh my Check this out. It's a snowy river. up this week the t-shirt design of the week is snort if you'd like to get this on a t-shirt sweatshirt handbag apron on all kinds of fun products that we have over in our shop as well as designs that we've done in previous weeks you can check out that link down in the description we have a sale going on right now we have free shipping now through the 31st if you missed it on Wednesday Bryson put out a brief little update on his aquaponic system and the whole winterization. That'll also be down in the description. We really appreciate you being a part of our family, and we look forward to hanging out with you on Monday for that podcast. Bye! Are they not both similar yeah. in size and structure Keep and in mind, quality? That's going to be the grotto right there, eventually. There you go. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Oh. Luna! Ring barrel. It's full there. It's full there. Awesome!